everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a new product that I just picked up today. It is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Eyeshadow. Now, Maybelline has had this product out for a few years. However, they just recently came out with some new shades, reformulated, I'm assuming, and did some repackaging. Now, what I want to do is compare this product with my beloved Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadow pots. I like the Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadows the most because they don't make my eyelids look creepy. They don't transfer. They don't crease. They don't smudge around. These are wonderful, especially if you've got some aging eyelids. I have tried a lot of cream eyeshadows. Some are really pretty. They just don't last and look the same on my eyes as a Charlotte Tilbury. And these are pricey. I mean, these are $30 for one color. So this is a little ridiculous. Now today I picked up this. Actually, I ordered it last week for a Walmart pickup in store, but they didn't have it yet. So I had to wait till today. This was a little over $6 at Walmart, I think. I will link it down below with the actual price. It was under 10. So, I mean, you can get at least three different colors for one Charlotte Tilbury. I really hope this is gonna compare because I do like cream shadows, they're easy. So in the intro today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch my Charlotte Tilbury colors along with this one I got from Maybelline. I only picked up one because if it's not as good as the uh, Charlotte Tilbury pots, then it's gonna be a waste of money all the way around. But yeah, I only got one. I'm gonna swatch them on my arm. I'm gonna wear them around the house on my arm to see how this wears compared to the other ones. Tomorrow, I'm gonna wear this on my eyes and do a full day wear test. So I will check back in at the end of the day after this has been on my eyes all day. So let's do some swatching. Now the color I got from Maybelline is High Roller number 30. It looks a little bronze on the monitor here, but really it's like a, I thought it was a taupe color. Oh goodness, it's hard to get my nails in there. But let's just do this just like this. So it's a taupey bronze. Let's do another layer. Um, I didn't swatch the greatest only because I can't get my finger in the pot due to my nails. But yeah, so it's like a, a brownish, brownish taupe color. I picked out that color because uh, the two Charlotte Tilbury ones I have, one was a champagne and one is a greenish gray. So I wanted something a little different. I didn't want an exact color, but yeah, that's a little different. I think that'll look really nice up in the crease and blend it out maybe just as a all over one shadow thing. I'm really excited. I hope these last just as well, but let's do some comparisons. Now the lighter Charlotte Tilbury I have here is in jean. Now, right off the bat, the Charlotte Tilbury feel more moussey. It's definitely a more moussey consistency. There's that. They look about the same consistency on the arm, though, don't they? But yeah, the um, Maybelline Color Tattoo is a thinner, it's a little stiffer in the pot. And when I swipe my finger in it, it's not, it's a thinner formula than the Charlotte Tilbury. So if that matters to anyone. Now the last color is this greenish gray color from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I don't like this as much as the champagne -y color, but let's swatch it anyways, just so we can have a comparison. Yeah, that's really opaque compared to the other two. But the color just doesn't look, doesn't look right on me. I'm not sure what the story about that is. So I tend to wear this one a lot more, but this one, I mean, it looks really pretty compared to them. All right, well, I'm excited to see how this little experiment turns out. Now I have a bonus product to show you. You can't just buy one thing, can you? Of course not. So I got the new Maybelline, what they call this here, ink crayon, Superstay ink crayon. I'll do a wear test of this tomorrow. Also, this one is in the shade Enjoy the View number 20. You see that? Okay. Bite Beauty makes uh, little crayon pencils that look just like it. They're nice. 
I have nothing bad to say about them. I don't own any. I got one for a, a birthday gift a few years ago from Sephora. I gave it away to somebody because it was a pink color that I would never wear. But I liked it. I liked the idea of it. So um, I'm not sure. This is more of a neutral color. It's not, it's not overly pink. It's almost like a, pe a dusty peach color. So let's just swatch this one right here. Oh, my swatch is going sideways, but yeah. Mm, kind of looks like what I got on, doesn't it? Go figure. All right. So I will check back in tomorrow after I wear this all day to work and give you my thoughts. All right. This is my check in the time of truth. So I put this on my eyes this morning around 7 a.m. It is now 10 hours later. I wore it all day at work. Let me get up close. So what did I think? First off, I'm going to insert a, a picture of those swatches I put on my arm last night. I did some housework, messed around for a few hours, and the Maybelline actually wore my arm better than the, the Charlotte Tilbury. We all know that doesn't, really, that doesn't really mean a whole lot. What does it do on the eyes? So this is what I think. I think it stayed on very nicely. It did kind of fade a little bit the last half of the day, but that's okay. I mean, it wasn't that much of a difference. Um, it did just start to look a little crepey right here in the inner corners. That only happened maybe the last hour or so of my day. That didn't bother me a whole lot because usually I don't wear makeup longer than 9 or 10 hours. Um, so yeah, I think it lasted pretty good. It didn't transfer up. It didn't flake off. It's not underneath my eye. It's not smudged all over my face. When I put it on, it, it was pretty much budge proof. So yeah, I think this worked out pretty well. If you've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury, you wouldn't know that there's a consistency difference when you put it on your finger. Um, when you first rub your finger in here, it's, it's very like a light texture and you don't, almost don't feel like there's anything on your finger, but um, there, there was. Now, I didn't try it with a brush, so I don't know how that would work out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to say they're just as good as the Charlotte Tilbury and a lot less expensive. Now, is that to say I'm never going to buy any more of the Charlotte Tilbury pots? I can't say that for sure because they did last a little longer on my eyes than this did, but these are really good. If you've never had the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Eyeshadows, you wouldn't know the difference if you bought this first. So that's my suggestion. I would buy this over that, not if you've never tried the other. So I think no matter what, you would be happy if you're looking for a cream shadow. So yeah, this gets my stamp of approval. I'm pretty happy with it. Now the one I'm not very happy with is this guy here. I put this on, it's a pretty nice color, it went on matte, and for the most part, it doesn't transfer all over. When I was taking drinks from my glass, you could see a little bit of color, not a whole lot. Um, let me, yeah, I'm really rubbing, and you can see there's a little bit that transfers off onto my finger, 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 but not a whole lot. So this isn't smearing all over your face, it's pretty transfer proof, but for whatever reason, after about an hour, it kind of just... I don't know if it absorbed into my lips. It just disappeared. And I put some more on in another hour. It just kind of disappeared. And it wasn't transferring off onto things. I wasn't eating. I have no idea what happened to this lipstick. But uh, yeah, this was a fail for me. Um, the Bite Beauty ones, they stay on and last. So yeah, I'm going to say no on this. They just don't last. I mean, if you don't mind reapplying your lipstick every hour. But I mean, if that doesn't matter to you, I guess it's okay. But for me, it was a fail. I'm not going to buy any more. Not to say I'm never going to use it again. I mean, actually, I probably won't. I'm probably going to give this away because this just disappeared to nothing to my lips. So, well, there's my review. This is a winner. I'm going to check out more colors, hopefully. I know they're pretty new to Walmart, so I'm going to check out the other colors and see if there's any more I need. Not to say that I'm never going to buy any more Charlotte Tilbury ones, but these are pretty good in my book. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching today. Bye.